Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the After the Blog podcast, where I dive just a little bit deeper into the world of technology and cybersecurity and attempt to cover some ground left uncovered sometimes, well, most of the times, on purpose through some blog posts that I participate in. All right. I'm your host, once again, Rod Trent, Senior Program Manager at Microsoft, and today I want to take a moment or two to make an official announcement for the avid listeners and readers of this podcast. All right, so I'm thrilled to announce that I've started a brand new Microsoft Sentinel SOC Security Operations Center 101 blog series where I'll be discussing and exploring um, the best practices, tips, tricks, all that stuff for successfully setting up, configuring, and managing your Microsoft Sentinel infused Security Operations Center. Okay. But more importantly, bigger focus here is what to do afterward. And what I mean by that is how to approach real-world threats as a security team member using Microsoft Sentinel, obviously, as your tool of choice. All right, so I spent some time recently walking through some of this with customers and quickly realized that we just we don't have enough to help our customers apply real-world scenarios to Microsoft Sentinel. We do a great job, and and I think many of you will agree with me, of continuing the evolution and release of new features on a super, super accelerated basis. But there's an obvious void in what exactly there is to do with these new capabilities, right? Um, So obviously it's going to vary depending on the environment, um, but I think I can do a good job providing enough of a framework so that as you read through this series, um, applying the new capabilities becomes much more contextual and much more intuitive. At least that's the hope, all right? So the intent is going to be a fantastic journey for both beginners and also seasoned security professionals alike. I want to make sure there's enough in each one of these series that there's something to grab for everyone, all right? So I'll be sharing expertise, real-life experiences, and insights into building a robust and efficient security operations center using Microsoft Sentinel. And along the way, like I've already done so far in these podcasts, I'll be inviting folks to help drive this new learning with me. Okay, so expect some cool guests along the way, some guest bloggers, some guest writers, some guests as part of this podcast, just like we've done before. I want to make sure we have all the expertise here to help you out. So for those who might not be familiar with what Microsoft Sentinel is, right? I, just, I, I don't want to leave those people out. It is a cloud-native security information and event management platform, right? SIEM or SIM, that's the acronym, whoever, however you pronounce that. Um, but this type of platform, it provides intelligent security analytics um, and threat intelligence for your enterprise, right? So it helps you detect investigate and respond to security threats in real time, helping you safeguard your organization for potential breaches and attacks, right? Very similar tool Microsoft Sentinel is to all the other types of tools in this industry. However, Microsoft Sentinel does some things that are very unique and very powerful that actually makes it a better product. I'm not just saying that because I've worked on it for like five years or because I work for Microsoft, I've seen the differences coming from other types of tools like it. All right. So with the ongoing series, you can expect I'll be covering the basics. All right. But then once the foundations are in place, I'll dive deeper into various components of Microsoft Sentinel, such as using workbooks for threat analysis, configuring analytics rules for threat detection and leveraging the power of automation using playbooks. And again, how all of these apply and can be used to identify and mitigate real threats. Okay, so I'm generally excited about this new blog series. All right, and I've seen already based on the traffic that you all are pretty excited about it too. So I can't wait to share the knowledge and experience with you, whether you are just starting with Microsoft Sentinel or looking to fine tune your existing SOC, this series will be a valuable resource for you and your colleagues. So obviously share it with everyone. Don't keep it to yourself. That's not nice. So stay tuned for upcoming posts in the Microsoft Sentinel 
Sock 101 blog series. And as always, I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and get your feedback. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me through the blog, which is rodtrent.substack.com. All right, very easy to get to, rodtrentsubstack.com. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, share it with everyone so that you and them, they'll appreciate it. I promise you'll be able to stay updated on the latest episodes. All right, so thank you so much for listening today, and I look forward to sharing more insights with you in the Microsoft Sentinel SOC 101 blog series. Talk soon.